always love you. Yes, I understand. I'll be there soon. Sergei, you don't understand. You need to come here immediately. Vera, listen, I understand everything, but it's just that I promised my kids I'd spend the day off with them at the Dasha. But I'll take them to my sister and come back right away. Have you tried getting married? Hello? Hello, Vera, wait. Sister, look, I will bring Masha and Ivan to you, okay? No, just for a little while. It's just that I... Yeah, I remember about your personal life. I'll get some time and bring them immediately. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah. Hello there, Hello. Julia. Hello. <coughs> Dad doesn't like it when we poke around his room. We just want to see his photos is all. Here we go. But why keep such old junk when we have a computer? They're so beautiful, right? Both of them. And who is this here? This one? It isn't Mother. I can see that. But what is she doing there? If he's hiding her from us, it's because he loves her. Do you think that's good or what? Perhaps they'll get married and then we'll have a mother. Yeah, you keep on dreaming. Ivan! Masha! Oh! Quick! Ah, here you are. Get ready now, and we'll go to Aunt Iris. But what for? What about the Dasha? Another time. I have to go to work urgently. What a bummer. I never thought I'd be able to hate someone so much, even though I hardly ever see them. Dad, we're so sick of your boss. This is the third weekend in a row that we can't go. You know, one day I will see that hussy, and I will tell her everything that I think about her. Dad? So do you love that woman whose photo is in the family album? Will you pass this for me? Do you, Dad? Oh, there she is. She can't spend five minutes without you, right, Dad? Yes, I'm here, Vera. I don't like how you're making me wait for you, Sergei. Uh, okay, I'll be there in a half an hour. Well, hurry up, or you can look for a new job. Hmm. Don't worry, Dad. Uh, yeah, it's all right. And she is the woman from the photo. The skank? She's not a skank, and enough with the questions. You love her, don't you? Ivan, I said enough. You hear me? Why is she always spoiling your mood? Because she's a skank. She spoils all our weekends. Dad, just hurry up though, okay?
Vera, do you realize that you're playing with fire? You won't do anything to me. I've hedged my bets. And you know exactly what I'm going to do with you if I feel at least the slightest danger coming from your side. Vera, listen. Come on. Just sign the papers, Vera, and you'll have a great amount of money left. You'll be able to start everything anew. What do you say? Hmm? No, Victor, I don't think so. Remember all the property and shares are registered in my name. Oh, and if you try to do anything, I'll leave you with absolutely nothing. By the way, you can already say goodbye to the house in Ozerki. I'm selling it. Bye bye now. Hey, don't you dare hang up. <sighs> well, all right. Now you regret that. Is everything ready? Yeah. We're tracking her every movement, and we're listening. But remember, please, do everything as tidy as possible. It's essential that everything looks like an accident. What about her driver? I can't help it. I feel bad for the guy. If it's possible to avoid, let him live. He has children. At least I think he does. A boy and a girl. All the more so. As for that one, no one's going to cry over her. I don't even doubt it. Mm, we'll get it done. Yes, sir. I'm extremely dissatisfied. And you're late again. We've got to be in Ozerki in 20 minutes. Please fasten your seatbelt, Miss Vera. Thanks, but I don't need your advice. And don't wear that cheap tie when you come to work. You look sloppy and lazy. Is it true you served in special ops? No, I was a policeman. Why did you leave? Did they fire you? It'd be great if you answered when I ask you something. Miss Vera, if you want to be on time, please don't distract me, okay? I am asking you this for a reason. I just need to know if I can trust you. Miss Vera, listen, my past has nothing to do with your trust, okay? If you have any complaints about me as a driver, What I want to then... offer you is a job, not only as a driver, but also as my personal bodyguard. I have no one else but you. Someone threatening you? Yes. There's a chance my husband wants to kill me. Well, if Mr. Viktorovich wants to kill you, I'll hardly be able to prevent him. He's a real big shot. I'm a big shot too, and I really need your help. In just four days, there'll be a trial and we'll get divorced. And there will be no point in killing me. Quite the opposite. It would be very stupid, and he'd have to take good care of me. So what do you say? Half a million rubles? Oh. Well, that's a generous offer. Are you accepting? But then you'll fire me, right? 
and go somewhere abroad. Well, that is possible. Mm -hmm. I fulfill my obligations and demand others to do the same. Do we have a deal? So what am I supposed to do? You need to guard me. I need you 24 hours a day. So when I sleep, that means you'll sleep in the next room. The work is quite dangerous. That's why I'm paying you so much. Vadik, this is ridiculous. Nothing bad will happen if I'm a little late. I'm already meeting these people halfway. 10% and they can wait for the damn money. Vadik, listen to me. If these customers take a pass too, you'll sell your apartment and then be able to pay me. Have you heard everything I'm telling you? Okay, Vera Sergeyevna. Yeah, I sure I understand. Yes. Lovely, so now do it. The seller's going to be late. We'll have to wait about 15 minutes. Is that okay, ma'am? Have you made your decision? Look, I'm sorry, Miss Vera, but after some thought, I'll have to decline your offer. Perhaps you didn't understand. Or didn't hear me. I'll pay you five times more than I am now. I heard it very well, Miss Vera, but I'll still have to decline your offer. You're a coward. Hmm. Look, you're offering a really dangerous job. Let's just say I don't want my children to have to become orphans. Well, I hope you know you're fired. Starting tomorrow. Cause it is what it is. Mm -hmm. Like? I've told you a hundred times already. We're still not tired of hearing. Well, she was very good, and your dad loved her very much. But after a while, God called her up to heaven. Good people often leave those they love early. But she's always with you. She's looking at you from the sky. And she supports you in times of trouble. Auntie, I know we're kids and all, but we're not so naive. Mom just died is what I know. And I know there is no God. There is a God. But you're too little to understand it. On Ira, perhaps he should get married. Dad I'm talking about, not God. How would he marry with a life like this? And besides, where would he meet anyone? What fool would marry him when he carries around such a burden? What do you mean a burden? You're such an idiot. Am I a burden? It's you who's the burden. You're an idiot and a burden. All right, now stop it. Aren't you too ashamed? Masha, Ivan, you're not a burden. Who even told you that anyway? Just the mean neighbor from the opposite flat. She said, your father is great and all, but who would think about marrying him when he has such a but burden? But she's an idiot too, and she has 10 cats. All right, that's enough. Don't listen to anyone. 
Your dad will meet someone who'll love him and you. I'm okay either way. Well, you only think about yourself. What if the skink loves him too? What do you mean by that? Oh, hey, don't listen to him, Auntie. He doesn't know what he's talking about. Dad doesn't need to get married. Anyway, there can't be two housewives in the same house. Are you a housewife? You can't even decently wash your own plate. This is what they call management. The plates get clean though, right? Because I clean it. No, it's because I'm very clever and I oversee your chores, which means I'm a housewife. You're nothing but a skank. And you're a dummy, but I still love you. Look, I have an important meeting today. So why don't we all get ready to go? Watch the finger. Yeah, the finger. And don't move the head too much, okay? Are you feeling dizzy? Huh? Are you feeling dizzy? A little bit. You have a concussion, but your companion was much less lucky. What happened to her? Will she survive? I'm a doctor, not a clairvoyant. She has a brain injury and wasn't wearing her seatbelt, you know. She never wore it. She hated it. That's a real shame. I'd punish you, but those guys over there will do it instead. Good evening. If I could have a word, I'm Officer Posadenko. Uh, good evening. All right. Can you tell me what happened? Did you see someone? Were you driving correctly, or should we wait for the experts, maybe? No, we were shot at. All right. I'm serious. We were shot at, and first at the wheel, and then at the gas tank. Hey, Who was it? The mafia? Do you have your documents? Right. Yes, one moment. But my license burned in the car. I see. It burned up. How convenient for you. Mm -hmm. You know, we were actually shot at. Your experts can determine it based on the bullet holes. Yeah, okay, okay, they will. All right, Sergei Valentinovich. Uh, doctor, tell me, how bad is he? I was just going to say that we should go to the hospital. Sergey and his companion already have to undergo a very serious exam. What are you waiting for? Go. You believe me? I believe you. I do. We'll even come to the hospital to visit you, and you'll give us more details. Get going. All right, thanks. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Okay. How is she? Her condition is stable. Why did someone shoot at you? So what did you and your wife do to upset someone? No, but she's not my, uh... Are you sure you're all right? Oh, yeah, I am all right. I just wanted to say that, uh, we're actually in danger here. Where are you taking us? To what hospital did you say? The local one. It's not far from here. Don't worry. We'll deliver you in the best possible way. If this poor woman doesn't give up, that is, of course. But I think that you'll be fine. Hi, Mikhail. It's me. Hey there, buddy. What's up? Listen, I'm in serious trouble, and I need your help. Sergey, you're cutting me without a knife. I'm a Sunday dad, you know. Very good, very good. Doing great, babe. I have to use any chance to see my daughter. Well, you know how things are for me now. Oh, I see. I'll be there soon. Look, everything's going to be all right. Goodbye. Dad? Huh? Who was on the phone? Honestly? Your Uncle Sergey. And does he need you? Does he? There's my answer. Will you take me with you? Uh, really? You won't then. Are Ivan and Masha there too? Well, I'm not going to his house, my dear. He's at the hospital. It might be serious. That's bad. Yes. Is Uncle Sergey in danger? Sweetheart, he just needs my help. Why are we standing here then? Take me home and go to him. I'll be all right. You're such a good girl. 
Let's go now. Well, all in all, it could have been worse. They say that the accident was serious. You should stay for a couple of days. Doctor, I can stay in the hospital, but only if you put me in the same ward where my wife's currently staying, please. Well, I think we can arrange that. And there's one more thing. A friend of mine, Mikhail Zvanarev, is coming. May I see him? Sure, why not? Oh, thank you. What do you mean that there's no body? I don't really understand. The executor reported that only the driver came out of the car when he shot the gas tank. The car exploded. Vera had no chance to survive at all. <clears throat> well, where is she then? Where is the body, I mean? Why didn't that executor make sure that the main objective was carried out? He says he was sure after the explosion I don't that... care. I don't care what he was sure about. Find everything out to the tiniest detail and report within an hour. Is that clear? I'll handle it, boss. Don't worry, we'll clean it all up. Listen. Did you pay him? The hitman? Everything you were supposed to pay? No, it was just half. I'll pay the rest when it's done. Yeah, I know. The job isn't done yet. You paid the rest when I shed a tear over her body in the morgue. Got it. Okay, you may go. Another severe road accident. We're on the line with our special correspondent, Marina Kemp. Marina? A terrible accident took place on a country highway. The car that belonged to Sergei Valentinovich Shirov Is that crashed Daddy? and began to burn. Luckily, there were no casualties on site. The driver and his wife were sent to the second clinical hospital in order to provide medical help. Thank you, Marina. And moving on to the next news report, we've had some unseasonable weather the last few days, so make sure that you bundle up, and if you can, wear your boots whenever you go outside. Yes, Ira. They just said on TV that you were in an accident. No, oh, shoot. What else did they say? They also said that they took you and a woman. They called your wife to the hospital. Is it Vera? Are you safe and all right? Yes, yes, it is Vera. And I'm all right now. He's all right. Yes. I'm going to be away for several days. What? Would you tell the kids that I went on a work trip, please? Tell them. You think they'll believe me? Ira, I actually have to go on a work trip for several days, and I need you to stay with the kids, please. Sergey, you're forgetting I'm that I have my own life, too. Mm -hmm. He's going to be here at any One moment. Sergey, you promised. I'm not forgetting anything. I'm just asking you for this favor. You know I rarely do this. That woman's your boss? You should have sent her away long ago. Just find yourself another job. Auntie, give it to me. Daddy, Daddy, are you sure that you're all right, huh? Masha, I have to call you back. Mm. What did he have to say? I don't think he wanted to talk to me at all. He said that he would call me back. Children, I think it's time for bed. Time for bed? But how could we sleep right now? Fine, sure. Masha, we need to listen to Aunt Ira. Uh, Let's just go to bed. Well, all right. Let's go and brush our teeth. Mm. Where am I? I've sent the best one to the hospital, to do it properly. Oh, oh. What's that funny story with the driver's wife? I thought he wasn't married. They just messed it up. It happens all the time. I'm sure it's Vera. Hmm. 
You'll take the advance payment back from the executor. Got it. And you will find a new one. Yes, sir. Well, you see? You really do work when you want to, right? <laughs> and I'm almost satisfied. Just... Just do it. Just do it all properly. And you keep me informed. You got it? Yes, I'll keep you informed. Ow. Well, that's good. I'm almost satisfied. I can tell. Do you remember your name? What day is it today? I think it's a weekend day, like Sunday in December. Well, look at that. It's not as bad as it seems. Let's try this. Do you remember this man here? His face seems familiar to me. Well, of course it would be familiar. <laughs> How long have you been married? For 14 years. 14 years? And he's my husband? You're exactly right. But who are you? <laughs> who am I? Have I really changed that much? Wait, are you seriously my husband? What? Yes. Yes. You don't have to be so shy with me. Does that mean we have children together? <laughs> Two of them. A boy and a girl. Vanya's ten and Masha's eight. Both of them are yours? <sighs> yes, the doctor from the ambulance told me that she's injured severely, but it doesn't seem that bad. Modern medicine hasn't studied brain injuries and everything that's connected to them yet. Yes, I see, I see. Of course, though, you always think about yourself and don't think of our kids at all. Because I just can't remember them at all. You will, you will. You'll get well and remember. And where are they? They're on vacation. They're staying with Irina, my sister. Remember her? No. That's all right, but you will. Both the children and Irina. Doctor, can we go home now? You want to be discharged right now? Well, I think Vera will get well sooner if she's surrounded by the love of her family. Vera, that's my name? Yes, that's your name. Sharova, Vera Sergeyevna. Where are we going now? Well, we have a country house, and luckily our friend is going to take us there. So we live in a village? No, but I think you just need to breathe some fresh air. Oh. Oh. Mikhail. Yes, I understand. Do you follow? Mm -hmm. Look, I don't like the countryside. I just adore a penthouse view. You sure about that? Do you remember it? I don't need to remember anything. I feel it in my bones. <sighs> I won't last a day in the village. Let's go. Where are you taking me? No, don't worry. But perhaps I need more treatment. We'll get punished for this. Don't worry, Masha. We'll be all right. We'll just look for Dad and go back to Aunt Ira. What if she comes back earlier than us, though? No, she won't. Her boyfriend came to pick her up, you know? She won't be back until the morning. I don't understand what she would do with her boyfriend until the morning. You won't know that till you're older. Watch your step. Hello there, Vera. Hello. Don't you remember Mikhail? That's all right. You will very soon. Take the front seat. Come on, get in. Yes. There. Oh. Tell me what's going on. 
I'll explain it to you later, but not now. Here are the keys to the house Dad, where you are going to stay. Dad, Dad! Uh, uh, hey, it's the kids. Oh, hey there, you two. Ooh, what are you doing? Uh, where did you come from? We were worried, is all. We had to come and visit you. Is that the woman in the van? The one from the photograph in the wedding album? Uh, now listen up. Uh, listen to me closely. You need to pretend that she is your mom because this is not a game, okay? No, but hold on. I recognize her and she won't believe it. She will believe it. She lost her memory, you see? If she believes you, you can ask me anything you want. It's a deal. Well then, let's go. <gasps> Here we go now. Children, say hello to your mom. Oh, Mommy, I've missed you so much. You're so pretty. Mom, how are you feeling? I'm all right. And thank you. Well, all right now. So here's what happened. Your mother and I were in an accident, and you see she's lost her memory, which means her recovery now depends on us like more attention and things like that. Are we clear? Okay, I get it. Is that clear? It's so clear, it's like a crystal. I'm glad to hear it. It's still not clear to me. I'll explain it all to you later. Well, I just remember you complaining about her and not too long ago. I'll be right back. No one complained about you. I just wasn't in a good mood, is all. Does that mean you discuss me with your friends? No. Well, you're not so perfect either. That's for sure. <laughs> Actually, we have some problems. Like any other family. Yeah, but we like to solve them. Yeah, yeah that's, that's right. right. We, we sure, sure do. do. Well, do I have a job? I'm going to work tomorrow, right? Uh, no. There's no work for you. You're on uh, vacation. What do you mean, vacation? Am I in school? What I meant to say was that, uh, you work there. And that's what I meant. Uh, yeah, you're a grade school teacher. I'm a grade school teacher? Well, actually, it does sound like the truth. After all, I always wanted to be a teacher. Oh, yeah? Oh, really? really? Stop shouting at me. That's it. <sighs> that was my ex just now. She's upset that I brought Lena home three hours early. She says I've ruined her night and her big plans. I told her, Sergei and his beloved were in an accident, but she couldn't hear me because of all her screaming. Here's home sweet home. Isn't it? Uh, Vera, there's one problem. There aren't any of your things here. At all. Uh, because you don't really like coming here. Why am I not surprised by this? I told you that I hated the countryside. I can relate. It's not my cup of tea either. Uh-huh. Our things aren't here either. But that's okay. Yes, that's okay. 
I'll be able to take you home tomorrow, and that way we can grab some of your things, okay? Get inside the house. Okay, correct me and stop me if I'm wrong, all right? So, according to you, you had gotten there several minutes after they released them from the hospital, right? Yeah. Am I warm or not? Yes, that's right. We weren't there in time. Hmm. Were there two of them? I think so. Victor, uh, the driver, and Vera. Two well-prepared people would be enough. We just had to lock the perimeter, you see? Well, so then, they told you that they were husband and wife. That's what they said. Exactly. Vera and Sergei Shurov. That's precisely what they said. And I take it you don't know where they went, of course. No. All right. Pavel will talk to you, and then you're free to go. Yes, sir. Well, what do you say? I have no idea how it happened, sir. I guess their affair didn't just start. Yeah? Really, you don't say. But why the hell didn't you think about it before? What are you gonna no. do now? Well, first I need to fully check on Shurov. Search every address and question, relatives, friends, and neighbors. I don't understand how they managed to stay alive. I just can't explain it. I will talk to the doctor who examined them. You though. will, and do it now. Right now, I said. They were released at night. What does that tell us? That they must have paid him. And bribed him. It tells us that he stays on duty there, and at the hospital. Doctors sometimes stay at the hospital at night on call, Pasha. Do you even know anything? I got it. I got it. I knew that none of you would be asleep yet, but anyway. Is she asleep? She's falling asleep. All right. So let's talk.
What is it? It's your coffee. And do you do this often? Do what? Bring me coffee in bed, of course. After 14 years of living together. Well, but you're ill. I always take care of you when you're ill. Well, thank you. Gross. What is this? What are you talking about? Wait, is that instant? You're expecting cappuccino? I would never drink instant coffee. Oh, but you do. Damn right you do. You just forgot about it. Hey. Hey's not my name, it's Sergei. But Sergei... My toiletries. And they're in the bag. Uh, the bag is in the car that burned down. So I must look like this? Mm. Give me some money. Where's the shop where I can buy things for myself? Uh, there's no shop here in this village. Of course, I should have known. Where are the children? Uh, Mikhail took them home. It's the best thing to do. Uh, you see, they were crying. Crying? What for? Well, because, um, it has been difficult for them to see you in this condition. Okay, then. So you prefer not to fulfill your promises? Well, Mikhail is bringing your clothes, jackets, and blouses. Is he going to poke around my clothes? Listen, uh, what are we going to eat? That's a good question. I'm getting quite hungry. I am too. Well? Am I supposed to feed you? Me cook? Well, yes. I can help you, and I know there are potatoes. Did you forget I lost my memory? I don't remember how to make borscht. I want to smoke. You don't smoke. She just lost her memory. But you apparently lost your mind as well. What is up with you? Listen, it has to be done. Don't you understand? No, I don't, and I don't want to. But all right, let's say my brother hooked up with that skank. What is happening here? I think he loves her. Say what? Yes. I'm pretty sure he loves his skank boss. Yeah, he keeps her photo right there in his wedding album as well. Children, what are you talking about? What's wrong? He has the right. Or are you the only one allowed? What are you saying? He said you discovered that we were missing in the morning. We're not asking where you were last night. Or with whom. That is none of your business. And you're too young to tell me what to do, so go to bed. Look. Yeah? Sergey asked me to ask you something else. Yeah? Well, can you give me some of your clothes? Maybe some old dresses? Is there any news? There's no trace of him. But there is something. We've checked all of Shurov's calls over the past couple of days, and we found a trail. He has a friend, Mikhail. They serve together. He's the one he called after the accident. Hmm. They serve together. Yeah, I see now. He asked for help. Did you find him? The guys are checking his address now. Mm -hmm. Now find both of them. Both of them. 
And his sister, son, and daughter? What for? Are you going to take them all as hostages? And then what? We could make ourselves a trade. We'll give him the kids, and we'll get Vera. Pasha, are you an idiot? How are you going to make him if you don't even know where he is right now? And why would I need his kids if I know where he is? Huh? I wasn't thinking. But we can make them tell us for sure. Would you please just find them, and right away? I mean, the sister, the children, I'm not interested in the details. I got it. Where are my things? Good morning to you, too. I got you chicken, some bread, sausage, cheese, and vegetables. That way you won't die of hunger. Thank you, Mikhail. Listen, man. All right, so she lost her memory. But you know she won't lose her mind forever. Soon she'll understand that this is not her house. Those aren't her kids, and you're not her husband. What are you hoping for, Sergei? I have to play this out for a while. She's in serious danger. Do you think she's the only one in danger here? Irina? Or you? Your children? You forgot them? I just want to help her, and I think I can do it. I'm very surprised by your confidence. A person suddenly turns out to have grown kids, and out of nowhere? Is this your humanitarian aid? Listen, you know it's not right for a woman of her age to have no kids. Don't you think about the moment when she finally wakes up and realizes that she has no children at all? You're an egoist. All right, then. I'm out of here. Hold on. Listen, uh, do you really think that we shouldn't have taken the kids to Arena? Mm. I don't know how serious the intentions of the Mafia is, if it's them involved, but I'm mm. sure it is. Damn it. Yeah, I think you're right. I do too, but don't worry. I don't think your victor is going to fight kids. There's no point. First of all, he's hers, not mine. But anyway. Hey, listen. Isn't he going to interrupt you when you go to court to see about that divorce? No, he won't at all. Her presence there in court isn't even necessary. The lawyers will do it without her on Thursday. We'll get her divorced, and then I'll get her to the hospital. Uh-huh. Yeah, and then after that, they'll charge you with grievous bodily harm or something like that. And you know it. Yeah. What the hell is this? What do you mean? What is this? Whose clothes are these? Oh, uh, well that, that's your favorite dress. Vera, uh, what's wrong? Mikhail got the first dress he found in the wardrobe, and it's your dress there. Well? So this is mine? Yes. yes. But who bought it for me? Uh... You? Me? Uh, no, I don't remember. Oh, well, that's right. Yeah, you bought it for yourself uh -huh. because I never give you dresses. <sighs> what? All right. I'll get going. I don't even get a thanks, right? Bring the clothes, take the kids, do all the shopping. You know Mikhail. what? I'm going to get as far from you as I can. And you can stay here. Mikhail. That's it. Look, I am really hungry. Let's have some tea. I need to have a talk with you. We'll talk while we make the tea. I don't think this is my dress. Fine, you caught me. It's mine. 
No, I'm just saying, it's a bit large. You simply lost some weight. That's not even the thing. Then what is it? I'd never buy myself such a thing. It was bought at a market and, like, on sale. Well, as you should know, you can buy practically anything at Moscow markets. But I know I don't buy things at markets. Oh, well then, where do you buy them? In Milan, of course. In Paris. And London. <sighs> Listen, what are you imagining, huh? Do you think you're a billionaire, huh? You're a teacher. You're a simple teacher, and you teach kids in nursery school. Come on now, and repeat after me. What? I only teach little kids who are in nursery school. I know this isn't my dress. Just try it on. Perhaps you'll like it. I don't think so. Just try it on, please. Once again, just be as polite as possible. I'll figure out what to do, and I'll give you a sign if necessary. I got it, boss. Sure thing, boss. Who are you looking for? Hello, Irina. We're looking for your brother, Sergei. He's not home or picking up his phone. He's not here either, and I can't help you, so goodbye. Irina, we really need to know where your brother is. Unfortunately, I can't help you. Do you want me to call the police? Listen, we really don't want to call the police. That would be unfortunate. Therefore, I'm asking you to really listen to me. What are you even doing? We don't have any issues with you, Irina. As I said, we're asking you to at least tell us where your brother's friend Mikhail is. He doesn't live at the place of his registration. Have you already tried asking his wife? No, his wife isn't there. Moreover, they're divorced. But the neighbors have told us something. Let us come inside. What for? To have a talk. But I've told you everything. Irina, I think your testimony could be useful for us. You used to visit your brother's friend from time to time. You're wrong. I never did. And I'm not going to. Did something happen to Dad? Was he in another accident while on that sudden work trip? Masha, go back to your room. He shouldn't have left the hospital. He had a headache after that accident, and he had to go to a work trip urgently. Why did he go there straight from the hospital anyway? My goodness. Hello, little girl. You're Masha, right? Yes. Is my daddy dead? No, your daddy's not dead. Listen, you said he went on a work trip, right? Didn't he tell you where? tells me anything. Wasn't there also a woman with him? There was no one with him. Uh. Hello, police. Shh, shh, Some shh, people shh, have come shh, to us and said that our dad was in an accident. Our dad's name is Sergei Shurov. Tell us where to go at once, please. We're at Ryabinovaya Street 8, apartment 15. How can we find information about our dad? Some people are here and we're scared. Will you come quickly, please? Time to go. <laughs> Hmm? Well, what was that about? We just beat them. Something's going on. Boss, what is it? I have a feeling that I've been tricked by a child, but I don't understand. 
Did you believe those kids? No, I never believe kids. Yeah, me too. <gasps> Are you spying on me? No. Uh, sorry, I was just, uh... Wait. I wanted to ask you something. Yeah, actually, I've seen it all right. I, I, I just wanted to say that dinner is served. Uh, what is it you wanted to ask? Did I really buy this ugly dress? Why are you so bothered by that dress anyway? Let's just have dinner. What do I even like? A what? If this is my dress, I must have lost weight. What's my diet? Because I don't remember. A celebrity diet? You're not on a diet, so we should just go eat. Where are you taking me? I'll show you your diet. Come on. Come on, don't be afraid, okay? Let's go. All right, now. Yeah? Come on. Sit down here. Here's your diet. Sausage, cheese, chicken. Sorry, and that's all for today, okay? Am I supposed to eat it all? No. You devour it all and ask for seconds, all right? First it's to Masha, and then to Ivan. Hmm? Come on, come on, but what's wrong? Eat! I haven't washed my hands. Don't you worry, we'll find them. All right, what's with your friend? We're just trying to identify his location at the moment, boss. Okay, but that means you haven't done it yet. Yeah, we're working on it. Pasha, you're disappointing me more and more every minute on this assignment, okay? You have very little time left, so do your best. This is in order. Yeah, I got it. So what did I do? What? Am I really such a bitch or something? What do you mean? I don't like anything. Not even this home. Not this dress. 
Or the kids. What about the kids? They left and I'm not missing them. Quite the contrary, I feel some relief. I guess I'm supposed to swear at you for taking them away. But I'm grateful. Why is that? Is it that I never loved them? Is that reality? Hey, Vera. <sighs> you were severely injured in the accident. You just need some more time. It will all come back. You get it? Tell me honestly. Tell you what? What did I do? You didn't do anything. Really. You will get well and everything will be fine. All right then. But what happened to you? Why are we hiding in another man's house? What? No, you heard me. I hit my head, of course, but I'm not a fool. I can see everything that's happening. What do you see? I don't understand. Oh, you do understand. Tell me honestly that it's not our house. I thought about it. I realized. You're in trouble and... You're in danger as well. We were in the accident because we were hiding from someone. They were trying to ambush our family. That's why Misha, your friend, brought us here. There's not a single photo in this house. Not one photo of our family. There's nothing. That would remind us that we come here at least sometimes. This is not our house. I know that's the truth. Am I correct then? What did you do? Are we in trouble? <sighs> Let's go peel potatoes. Mm? It's time to eat already. Listen, can't you think about anything else but food sometimes? No, but what do you mean? In between lunch and dinner... I think about you. <laughs> Don't worry that much, because you'll make it. So have I ever peeled potatoes before? Of course, of course you have. The main thing is to remember. Oh, damn it. I'm a woman who can't remember her children or how to peel potatoes. Well, potatoes are important too. Yeah, okay, if you say so. I've never peeled potatoes before. Do you know what's wrong? You're actually trying to remember how things are done. Just wait. You don't have to remember anything. There's muscular memory. Hands are not brains. They remember what to do. So don't try to control your hands. Tell me how. Like this. Not yeah. control my hands. Yeah, you should think about something else. About what? Oh, like what's your favorite song? You tell me, since I used to sing my favorite song to you. Doesn't matter. You can count pink elephants. What? Pink elephants. One pink elephant plus one pink elephant equals two pink elephants. Two pink elephants plus two pink elephants equals four pink elephants. Yeah, four. Are you kidding me? No, I'm not. You think I am? What elephants? And what potatoes? 
I can't remember anything at all. Do you understand me? Nothing. Not you, not our wedding, not our children, not this house, and really not this dress. You never answered my question. Is this our house? No, this is Mikhail's house. Well, that's great. And you never told me what happened to us, did you? Why do we have to hide anyway? What have you done? I haven't done anything. And I don't care. That's right. Why should I know about our problems? If I don't remember who we are. Now tell me, do I feel good when we're in bed? Really? Hmm. So it's bad. Why is it bad? It's not bad at all. It's fairly good. You just take my word. I'd better check it. Right this minute. Or what is our schedule? Two times a week? Or once a week? How often do you delight me, hmm? Vera, calm down. But we're husband and wife. Let's get it on. What for? I'll explain everything to you. But right now? Hmm. Perhaps the act will help me. I can't do it. Why not? Because you don't remember anything and it won't be right. What's not right about this? We're man and wife. And my hands will remember like muscular memory, right? You come here. Uh, what for? Stupid. You know it's our right. You need to get well before that. mistake yesterday. I went out for business at night and left you alone. I thought that you were adults and I could rely on you, but I found out... What did you find out? I found out I couldn't rely on you. Come on, that's debatable. Dad relied on you too, and you let him down. Uh-huh, and then you went on a date and left us all alone at night. But I'll tell you, I thought you were mature and understood normal things. Dad thought you were mature as well. And that you understood everything. Look, I'm sorry. Let's all forget this. Everything's all right. As Dad always says, it's over. All right then. Okay, tell me about that skank you mentioned and that whole story about her being his wife. Would you come here? Don't worry, I'm not going to molest you. We will just have a talk. How are you? I'm not so good. And you? Forget about me. I'm not the one who's ill. But will you hug me? What? <clears throat> I want you to hug me. 
Why must I beg you all the time anyway? I want to understand something. Just come here and put your hands on my shoulders. That's it. Now I don't need anything else. Did we fight? Did I kick you out? No. We're a very friendly family, and we often come here for barbecues. Aren't you tired of lying? Who am I? Just don't tell me that I'm your wife. And I don't know what you need. I haven't figured it out. But I like you. Just don't lie to me, please. What makes you think that we're not married? I can see it. How? I'm a woman. We haven't even kissed one time. You're afraid to look at me. <sighs> I'm not that afraid. Well, all right. Then kiss me. Just do it. Did you like it? Yes. So did I. Who am I? And why do you want me to be your wife? Let's start with me always wanting you. Okay, that's a good start. And my kids happen to know that I'm in love with you. I mean, they thought so before yesterday, and now they both know it, but it's for sure. They are good children. The first woman in contact is sometimes obediently called mother, like me. Well, it's not quite true, but when you get to know them better, you'll understand that this is... Yes, all right. Now go on. Tell me more. The next part is the hardest. You should tell me. Damn it. Well... Just don't you dare lie to me. I'll feel the lies straight away because I am a teacher. How are you doing without me? Ivan? Hey, did you miss me? Now just be honest. Honestly, I don't remember you. You are lying. <clears throat> L listen, why are you so worked up? <clears throat> you think I have no reason? <sighs> Your brother is going crazy, and you're playing along. Look, didn't you tell me everything in the morning? Why did you call me? You're not letting me talk to my daughter properly. Let's go. Where to? To the countryside, because I need to sort it out. Mm. That is a bad idea. I don't have a better idea for you. By the way, guests have already visited us, and it's not likely they will leave us alone. And I have to stop it as soon as possible. 
This is great, actually. They're hiding in the middle of Irina. nowhere. Irina, what? I've said everything. Hey, Auntie, you're right about everything. She's right, and we're in danger here. We need to go to the country, Dad. Well? Let's all go, then. There's no need to rush. Are you even hearing yourself? My husband, the one I don't remember, wants to kill me. What for? I really don't know why, Vera. But you're accusing him of this. You just told me yourself. That's because you told me that not long ago before the accident. And stop being so formal with me! You and I just kissed, after all! You didn't kiss me. You were experimenting on me. Fine. But we need to start from scratch. Why do you think they shot at us in the car? Because I understand a little about it, and I can't be mistaken. Why are you doing this? <sighs> ah, what? What am I doing? Why are you lying to me all the time? Are you lying to mock me? But why would I lie to you? I don't know, but you lied to me saying I was your wife. Now you're saying some nonsense. Money, real estate, who would believe you? I'm a nursery teacher, you say, and I remember that. And that is the only thing I remember. That's where you are mistaken. Know who you are. Know who you are. An oligarch's wife. You, you're such a cold bitch. The one who poisons the lives of everyone around you. You don't see or hear anyone except yourself. Oh, I, I don't live in the village. Oh, I don't buy anything at markets. Oh, I don't like this dress. It's a good dress, by the way. It's my sister's favorite dress. Do you understand? Oh, oh, right. But you're not happy. You're a skank. I bet they fought a hundred times already. And I bet they have already kissed. Okay. I just hope you keep calm. Well, no promises. What did you just say? Uh, you heard me. A skank. What the hell are you doing? Are you out of your mind, woman? I'm your wife, actually. You're not my wife. You're a cruel skank. You are a, a real skank. And you are... All right, guys, what are you doing here? Oh, Alina, hello? Hello, Uncle Sergey. Mm. Did something happen? We've been missing you. Uh-huh. Hi, Mom. Ivan, you don't have to pretend anymore. Your dad told me everything. Too bad, although... I knew he wasn't going to last very long, because he is not that good at lying. Do you mind if I speak? Hello there. I'm Marina, and that is my dress. Nice to meet you. Vera. It's a very good dress. Of course it is, and I bought it myself. I'll give it back. I promise. Wear it until you get bored. That's something else, Casanova. What are you doing here? And why did you bring them all? Ask your sister. She specifically wanted to come. Ah. Uh, so, Vera, shall we have tea? Well... We didn't bring anything to have with it, but we could talk. Mm -hmm. That sounds good. Who would like some tea? Oh, I would. And me. I'd like some, too. Yeah, that sounds good. How about you brew us some tea, Vera? You can have some, Pasha. But what are you doing here with your... your dangerous thugs? Hello to you too, Vera. I remember everything now. Sergei. 
But you said you wouldn't save me. Well, it just happened. He saved your life only because he loves you. For a long time. Go and tell Victor to bring the documents and I'll sign everything. Victor gave us an order to bring you to him, Vera. I don't care what Victor Viktorovich wants. I want to stay here. Is that okay? Yes, it's fine. Yeah, that's right! We want you to stay and get to know you better! Guys, it would be better for you to leave. And I've been thinking a lot about the car that's been following us. You're losing your grip, buddy. No, I'm not. I'm really glad you're here. I'm glad as well. Hey, I thought someone promised us tea. Hmm. Or did she forget about that too? You see, in the end, nothing too bad happened. I know, and I'm okay with this, Victor. I'll take my personal belongings in a couple of days. Of course you will. Because you're broke. Anyway, at least you have your new group of beggar friends to now help you out. For real? Look at you! You're bloated like an octopus, and you're still talking this crap. But why an octopus? She thinks you look like one. I don't think you're broke, and we promise that we won't leave you. No, of course I'm not broke. Now I have you, your brother, and your father. Well, that's it, and we can add it up now. The property that was supposed to be transferred to Vera in case of my death or divorce is back. Have you dealt with the killer? Yeah, I broke the contract with him, and he demanded a forfeit. He said that we had time before today. It's all right, I'll deal with him. Don't even think about paying. <laughs> Here's how I forfeit. So Masha told me that you keep my photo in the family album just so you're aware. That was an accident. An accident? Yes. I know what you are afraid of. Me? Afraid? I'm not afraid of anything. <laughs> you lied to me that things were fine with us. Now you're afraid not to justify my hopes. <clears throat> well, I certainly am not afraid of that. Are you sure? Aren't you scared? There is only one way to verify this. <laughs> it wasn't me, it was Masha! <laughs> you have a lot of catching up to do! 
How did you get away with hitting us? I'll show you who's the master of yeah, 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 <laughs> 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 Oh, you can't get me! <laughs> Come oh, here, you! I got you! <laughs> oh. <laughs> I got you! <laughs> 